Hello, I'm Eric Hanley, an automation specialist with the SNE, and in this video segment, we will do an overview of safety and standards. Then we will cover the Guard Logics hardware offered by Rockwell Automation. Before we jump into our content, ESNE offers online training through YouTube. Please like and subscribe to the ESNE TV YouTube channel for how to applications and other automation content. What is functional safety? The formal definition of functional safety is the part of an overall safety relating to the equipment under control and control system that depends on the correct functioning electrical, electronic, and programmable electronics safety related systems and other safety reduction measures. That definition comes from the standard IEC 61508, but a more practical definition would be to say functional safety is the use of an automation system to guarantee the safety of people and equipment. There are many different standards when it comes to functional and machine safety. Some of the most commonly referenced are the ANSI B11 and RIA15. Also, there's the NFPA 70 and 79 and ISO 13849. When it comes to functional safety, the IEC 61508 and the ANSI B11.0 standards are considered A-level, which means they are overviews and they will reference multiple other standards that are more specific. More specific standards are considered B and C-level standards. The main standard that we will be reviewing today is the ISO 13849 that is specific to the safety related parts of a control system as it relates to machine safety. When looking at designing or upgrading safety equipment, it is important that the system has had a safety assessment done in order to determine the necessary requirements for the safety system. There are many different ways of conducting a safety assessment and there is no wrong method as long as one is done. One very common approach is covered in ANSI RIA 15.306, which was adapted from a robotics standpoint. This method breaks down risk levels based on three criteria, the severity of the injury, exposure to the hazard, and the avoidance of the hazard. It was determined that it is difficult to identify the risk level when the assessment is done by multiple facets within a company, such as engineering, maintenance, and operations. Using the RIA 15.306 method, it makes it more decisive by defining each criteria well and breaking down the conditions. Once the assessment is completed and the risk level is identified, you can quickly move to determine the category rating the system needs to be designed to, as well as the performance level that will need to be attained when the system is implemented. For people who are not familiar with safety, a simplified way of understanding a category is the way that the system is designed. A safety integrity level, or SIL, is the component's safety rating, and a performance level is what is achieved after the system is designed and installed with the proper SIL rated components. Rockwell did a market assessment to understand the category and performance levels for the machinery being designed and installed in industry in order to understand the SIL ratings needed for the equipment they provide. The result of the estimation was 85% of machinery needs to achieve a performance level D and not performance level E, which is the highest safety rating. Therefore, if the end goal is to achieve a specified performance level, we need to design the system based on the category and SIL components. When looking at the safety related parts of a control system, you always have to keep in mind that the safety system is made up of three main components. Those components are inputs, logics devices, and outputs. Rockwell has two major categories of guard logics controllers, which are the compact logics and control logics. The compact logics starts with the SIL-3 rated 1769 controllers, but it also encompasses the SIL-2 and SIL-3 5069 controllers. The control logics also has two levels of controllers, which are the SIL-3 rated 
L7 controllers, which require a safety partner. And the second level is the SIL2 L8 controllers or SIL3 L8 with safety partner. Traditionally, Rockwell only provided SIL3 rated components because many people designed a category four or performance level E systems. But with the market estimate showing 85% of all machinery does not need that level, the new products were designed to provide a SIL2 rating and a more cost-effective solution. The 5069L3 and 1756L8 controllers have a four-core system that contains a core for logic, communications, overhead, and safety. Having a dedicated core for safety allows the necessary redundancy checks between the logics and the safety cores. Now with a more appropriately sized system that works with the same SIP safety network, Rockwell has been working to develop many more SIP safety products and help provide a full safety system. Some of the most recent improvements have been on the input devices such as light curtains and laser area scanners. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please contact your local ES&E account manager or automation specialist.